Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome back to another tweak video. We're going to be taking a look at 10 more really cool tweaks from Cydia that do work for iOS 11. If you guys haven't seen my previous top tweaks video or you see any tweaks in this video that I don't cover, be sure to check out that video. The link will be in the description. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this. The first tweak I got for you guys is called Mitsua 11. It's a really cool tweak that adds a kind of wave visualizer to the Spotify app, the music app. It also does put it in uh, control center as you guys can see there. And it's also functional on the lock screen, which I think looks really, really cool. Again, that's called Mitsua 11. Hide status bars is a really simple tweak that allows you to remove the status bar from the lock screen and also the home screen. I wanted to include it because it goes hand in hand with the tweak lock plus pro. Uh, they are both from the same repo. It is a paid repo, but it's 100% worth it. I'll leave the info down in the description. Adjust notifications is another free tweak from Cydia that will allow you to change the position of the notifications on your lock screen. Uh, and it also gives you some other options. I like using the full width bubbles. I think it's a really nice looking effect here. We can just go ahead and send a test notification. Um, as you guys can see, there's a ton of different settings for the tweak, but as you can see, I like being able to have the full kind of effect of a notification rather than it being a bubble. So definitely a really cool tweak. Again, it is called adjust notifications. Silent Screenshot is a super simple tweak from Cydia. Again, this is another free one. It basically makes taking a screenshot like it used to be, where you can just take a screenshot and it saves it immediately to your camera roll. It'll also make the screenshot silent, hence the name, and it'll also give you a little bit of a vibrate when you take the screenshot as well. Very cool tweak. Again, it's called Silent Screenshot. Quotifications is a tweak that will add a random quote to your notification center. Uh, if you don't have any notifications, instead of it saying no new notifications, you will have a random quote there. And I just thought it was a really cool tweak to, you know, read a different quote when you've cleared all your notifications. Again, that's called Quotification. Nice Notes allows you to customize the Notes application, as you guys can see. I left it stock, kind of how it installed from Cydia, which is basically a dark mode for Notes, and it does have the green icons and I think it's a really nice looking tweak you can change the colors to whatever you want but I like the dark mode effect again that's called nice notes IG gray dark mode is a dark mode tweak for the Instagram application and uh, it's definitely a really cool tweak as you guys can see it basically brings dark mode to Instagram I think it's a really cool look it's much easier on the eyes than Instagram normally is with the white background I think it just looks really really good uh, so again, this is called IG Gray Dark Mode. And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, be sure to do so. The link is down in the description. BioProtect X allows you to lock and protect certain applications and certain different areas within your device. Also different settings, panes, and stuff like that. Uh, it allows you to use Touch ID or even Face ID to lock your applications individually. As you guys can see, Touch ID is required to open up Cydia. It is definitely a must-have application on your device. Again, that's called BioProtect X. Preference Organizer 2 is a tweak that's been around for a long time, and it is now updated for iOS 11. So if we go ahead and jump into settings, as you guys can see, towards the bottom there, everything is compiled into different sections within the settings application. You have your system apps, you have your tweaks, and you also have your App Store apps all in their own section which makes navigating through the settings application to say your tweaks much easier. Again, that's called Preference Organizer 2. You will have to add a source in order to get that tweak. It's listed down in the description. The last tweak I got for you guys is called Home Gesture. This brings the iPhone 10 gestures to older devices. So if we go ahead and swipe up from the bottom, as you can see, we can open up multitasking. You can also swipe up and close out of an application. From the upper right, you can pull open Control Center. Uh, if we go to the lock screen, as you guys will see, we do have the flashlight button, which you can just force touch to turn on the flashlight. Also the same for the camera button there. And if you guys want to input your passcode instead of using Touch ID, you just swipe up, as you guys can see, you can put in your passcode. So definitely a really cool tweak. Again, like I said, it brings the iPhone 10 gestures to older devices. Definitely worth having on your device. It's called Home Gesture. So there you go, guys. Those are 10 more awesome tweaks that do work on iOS 11. Uh, if you guys have seen any other tweaks in this video that I didn't cover, 
be sure to check out my previous tweak video. The link is in the description. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.